morning and welcome to today's vlog. Today I am doing my first solo hike. Some of the hikes that I've done less than a mile I don't really consider a solo hike just because it's not very far. There's no element of fear. This is considered moderately difficult so it's not easy, it's not super hard, it's not too far away from town. It's actually pretty close to a campground so and there's also two cars in this parking lot, so I'm not going to be completely alone. Biggest fear of solo hiking is getting attacked by an animal. But I have my bear spray, I have a knife, I have an e I have a service, which is kind of the big thing. I didn't want my first solo hike to be like in the middle of Rainier National Park where there's no service and you like hike 10 miles into the wilderness and, you know, that doesn't sound very... It sounds fun, but sometimes you just need company. So this one that I'm doing today is four and a half miles, and I was going to bring the drone, but it's also kind of rainy. The forecast for today said partly cloudy and like 7% chance of rain, but I guess that's what raincoats are for. I think that's enough talking for now. Let's go hike. This kind of looks like a somewhat large animal went through there because you can't see right there but there's some twigs laying down. At the beginning of this trail I did see a sign that there were bears spotted here and I feel like the more I think about it the more paranoid I get so I'm trying not to think about it but when you're alone left with your own thoughts that's what you think about. It's times like this I actually kind of wish that I had my dog that barked at everything because I feel like I'm too quiet and I don't want to sneak up on a bear. So every now and then I kind of just whistle or I talk to myself. So make my presence known. Because the last thing that I want is to sneak up on a bear. There's a beach down there. You can hear the waves from here. There's like this black dot on the tree. At first glance, I swear to God, that was like a bear climbing a tree. <sighs> I'm making myself too paranoid. This is like the worst thing of hiking by yourself, especially if you're a paranoid person, which I am. All the animals. Oh my God. Oh my God. I literally jumped for a squirrel. That's a cliff, okay? That's a cliff and I literally jumped because of a squirrel. I don't think I'm meant for solo hiking. Plus, I don't have company. And it's not as fun when you don't have company. I miss my husband. I miss my buddy. tell how big it is? Probably not. <sighs> Forgot my zoom lens. So all I have is my 10 to 10 to 18 so I can't zoom in. Well, it's a really pretty spot. I wish I could show you. I left my 
70 to 200 on my dresser and I just forgot to put it in my backpack before I left so that kind of sucks but oh well giant boulders with the tree growing out of it. Kind of cool. Clearly I'm home. So, have some good news, have some bad news. The good news is I didn't get attacked by a bear. That's some pretty good news. The bad news is I think it being my first real solo hike hyped it up so much in my head that that was like the only thing that I was thinking about. I was only thinking about, okay, do I have my phone? Do I have my bear spray? Do I have a knife? Do I have a flashlight? Do I have water? I was like in survival mode of getting attacks or just being in the woods for longer than I had anticipated. Like I brought my e -perb and an, like my life straw thing, which I mean, you should always bring just in case cause you never know. But I was not in the mindset of vlogging it, but I made it to the end, whoop de doo but my camera dies. While I was getting ready this morning, like putting stuff in the car, getting my backpack all together, I was charging my battery thinking, you know, it should be good, right? No. So I left my spare battery here, I left my zoom lens here, I left the drone here on purpose but I wish I brought it anyways because towards the end of the hike it was blue skies. Now it looks like it's about to rain again but there was a point that I could have put the drone up because there was no wind, it was blue skies, it wasn't sprinkling anymore, I didn't have that, I didn't have a spare battery. Was I even prepared to vlog? No, I don't think I was. I was prepared for a bear attack. Oh my God. <laughs> but I wasn't prepared to vlog. There was about 20 times that I psyched it up and I like got myself so paranoid and thinking that I'm being hunted by a cougar or there's a bear like 10 feet away. I kept seeing movement even though it was like a squirrel or raindrops or something like that. I kept freaking myself out. And then every once in a while, I hear a twig crack and I was like, oh my God, I'm being hunted by a cougar. I was about to turn around probably like 20 times. And there was probably about five times that I actually turned around, walked 10 or 20 feet and I was like, no, finish the trail, you're fine. If you're a first time solo hiker and you come to watch this vlog for inspiration, I don't think I was inspiring today because I jumped at a squirrel, I just failed at vlogging, but I did learn something. Sometimes you just have to get out of your own head. I know that is the hardest thing to do and that's something that you definitely have to work on. You're not gonna just, oh, let's take a five mile stroll through the woods. What could go wrong? Like no one thinks like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course there's gonna be fear, but I think you just have to keep doing it over and over and over again. The odds of seeing a bear or a cougar are like the same odds of getting in a car accident on your way to the grocery store. It's the same odds. Like, is it really gonna happen? Probably not. Could it happen? Yes, it could happen every day, but you're just very unlucky if it happens every day. It's a learning experience if you're new to solo hiking, just like me. I know that it gets better, and I know that the next time I do it by myself, it's gonna be better. My neighbors keep telling me that there is a mama cougar that lives literally right behind me with her cup. So there's cougars in this area and sometimes I go walk my dogs outside at night and I think about cougars. So whether you're in your driveway walking your dog or you're in the middle of the woods with no cell service, wild animals aren't around. You gotta get over that and I'm telling myself this too. Hit subscribe, do the little bell thing to get notifications and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.